My great pleasure now to welcome Rosie Batty to the microphone. Rosie, Rosie is the Victorian Australian of the Year and she's shown amazing courage uh, since the death of her son, Luke, earlier this year. Rosie, uh, you've had to deal this year with the most awful circumstances imaginable. Um, what's, what's given you the courage to, uh, to battle on as you have and to become a voice for, uh, for people who are victims of domestic violence? <clears throat> Well, I've always believed in the human spirit. I think we have immense courage within us. And when you're faced with the worst challenges possible, it's amazing where you can find that strength. <clears throat> you gain strength from family and you gain strength from friends. And this amazing journey I've been on since Luke's death, <clears throat> I have been given the greatest kindness and support from everyone. <clears throat> and it's been far-reaching. I still get cards. Sorry, <clears throat> I still get cards. I still get gifts. I still get a lot of kindness being shown to me. And I've always believed that, just like what's happening in Sydney at the moment, when there's great tragedy, there is enormous community goodwill, and that's what makes us human, and that's what gives us a sense of connectivity, belonging. There's so much badness in the world, but there is so much more good. And we all have it within us to be better people and make the world a better place. And I'm really humbled to be here today with these wonderful people. Um, and to see my little doll. Well, let's um, mm. have a sip of water. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a special object. Uh, it's a, it is a little doll. Um, What's the story behind that doll? Well, for some reason, all my dolls ended up without any clothes. I don't know where they went. I'm sure they came in clothing. But she was a really beautiful little pretty doll with long blonde hair, possibly something I would might like to have had blonde hair. But she was given to me my, by my godmother when I was very little. And it was soon after my mum died, because my mother died when I was six. So she was a real comfort to me and over the years I asked my grandmother Nana Atkin if she would knit me some clothes for my doll so that I could keep her forever and treasure her and have something that my grandma had made for me so she would be extremely um, thrilled to know that she's here um, in spirit and there's a lovely picture of her she lived till she was 100, and she was the most inspiring woman with a great sense of family. She was still the very centre of the family, loved by everybody. And she lived long enough to see Luke when he was six months old, and she died two months later. Ladies and gentlemen, Rosie Batty. Thanks, Rosie.